Hey guys, Delta here, and welcome back to my NHL 14 GM Mode series. Rebuilding the Tampa Bay Lightning, we are now in the 2014 offseason. End of June, we are into the re-signing phase, so let's go and deal with this because we have a lot of guys whose contracts just expired. Let's go through by position and deal with them. First things first, I'm going to qualify basically all my RFAs. Because then I can hang on to their rights and I can deal with their contracts really whenever. That's the most important thing to me. And there are a lot of RFAs. Though these two guys, on the other hand, they can probably go to free agency. Not a lot of potential. 23 overall, not that great. They're not going to turn into much, by all accounts. Another team can take a chance on them if they like. But they are just... Uh, there's fill up spots on my roster. So absolutely. Tender qualifying offer to Sanguinetti. He's, he he improved a ton. Uh, Korobov is a decent depth guy. Keith Ollie, absolutely. He's coming up to the big club this season, I believe. Barbario. Uh, you know, decent AHL guy. Sister, improved. Definitely. Landry. You can walk. And then good Branson qualified. Okay, now we have some some UFAs here. Uh, these guys aren't going to turn into much, so I can let them walk out. We're going to turn this rink into a giant mud ball. This is the process of basically rebuilding and fixing the farm system and clearing out all the crap in general. So then tender qualifying offer and tender qualifying offer. Okay, let's go deal with uh, with the UFAs, because there's quite a few of them as well. So, let's go at position, again. Mike Santarelli, what do you want? You could be a solid depth guy to have. Hey, two-way, one year. I'll give him two years, hell. At 800, on a two-way contract, that's, that's a great deal. He's a solid guy. He's a solid guy. Uh, Manny Mahotro, that... Probably means you walk. Um, let's see what he wants. Yeah, he wants a little more and he wants a one-way, so I think he's going to end up walking. This guy is just... He's a waste of space, to be honest, so uh, I'm going to release him to free agency. Left wing, Leonard Patrell. What do you want? One million for two years. Huh. I have to think of that because he's a solid fourth line guy, but like, am I gonna find an improvement over him? You know, I I'll give him a year. What's what's he gonna want for a year? I'll give him a year at nine fifty. Does he? You know what? He's a solid fourth line guy. He's a solid fourth line guy. PC Labrie, um, just kind of taking up space. I want to get other guys in there. Okay, you guys are that. All right. I've dealt with the forwards. Let's let's just let's deal with forward stuff right now for one day. Simulate up a day. I'm expecting pretty much everyone will accept their contracts. Got 13.8 million in cap space. We got a lot of guys. We have quite a few guys to resign. Quite a few spots to fill. It's going to be interesting. For sure. You know. Whenever it gets around to simming to the next day. Okay. Santarelli. Yep. Patrell. Yep. Okay. So that uh, helps solidify the bottom six. So let's kind of take a look at things right now. So we've got Stamkos. We've got Filipila. We got Tyrell, and then uh, probably Thompson here is the f as the fourth line. Santarelli is a depth guy. Malhotra, that means you can walk. Raymond's got a two point five. Really, that's what I signed him for. Wow. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Uh, Tatar can step in and be a solid. Uh, third line guy, which might make Raymond expendable depending on what I do in the top six. Because I think I'm going to keep Drouin on that top line. Drouin. Patrell on the fourth. 
Palat will put in the AHL. But here, this is where we get issues. We got a fourth line wing, and then we got preferably a second line winger, but he could end up being my first line winger if I can't find a replacement. Um, these guys I'd like to be in the AHL to actually develop, unless they take a huge jump here soon. Okay, um, let's deal with these three, or these two. Oh wait, no, where's Good Branson? Rank this by overall. Okay, basically, the three guys I gotta deal with. Start with Sanguinetti. He wants two years at whoa three point seven five. Uh, let's do yeah, let's do two years. Let's do three years at. I could probably. Yeah, let's do three years at, at, at uh, 3.75. Okay. What does good Branson want? Ooh, he's going to come cheaper. How many years can I lock him up for? Let's give him four at 2.5. And get him locked up till 26. That'd be solid. And then Ollie, what do you want? Jeez. Uh, yeah, I'll give you two years at 2.5, let's say. And that's going to knock out a chunk of my cap space. Uh, so let's advance a day and see what happens with those three guys, because those, uh, those are key pieces to get re-signed. And actually, if I bring only up, I can move Leopold. He becomes expendable with uh, with Ollie stepping up. Okay, good Branson, Ollie, Sanguinetti. Awesome. So now 7.6 in cap space, but like I said, uh, Leopold is now expendable. I have seven NHL defensemen. Which is not, oh, you know, it's not a bad thing. Goodness has jumped up. Ooh, he could step in or I could give him more AHL seasoning to become even better. Let's see what Brian Lee wants as a, hey, a two-way contract at 700. I'll agree to that. You know, even if he goes to the AHL and, and provides some stability down there. Uh, Tower Mina. Well, if I have him with these three. And I want him playing. I may as well... Well, how old is he now? 27? I think I'll let him walk and... Uh, I can look for depth... A different depth guy. Negotiate a new contract with these guys since it'll be two way. Yeah, sure. One year at uh, 600. Again, one year at. Uh, I'll do 600. You, I want to get definitely on a, a bit of a longer contract. Give him three years. Yep. I'll do that at, uh, as well, 600. So that should deal with my, my defense situation. Let's take a look at some of the other AHL guys. Depth forward at this point. Yeah, you could step up. I'm going to give you a couple years at 800. Because he could step up and play in the NHL if needed. He's not far off. Let's see what these guys want, because these guys might be inch edging towards Yeah, He wants a one-way. Because he's a fourth liner now. And he might compare... We'll see how he compares against Thompson, who is uh, six years older. So let's... Kalorn. He might still be okay with the two-way. So he is. Um... I'm gonna get him on a t on a two year. At 750. Let's deal with this guy. Four years till 29 for a third line guy. Sure, I'll give him 1.8. That's a solid deal, I think. Let's go deal with the right wing guys here. Yeah, he's okay with a two-way. Yeah, I'll give him... Th let's do... It's gonna locked up till 25. Oh, I can't... 
On a two-way, I can't go that high. Okay. It's the most I can offer him on a two-way, so we'll we'll go with that and see what happens. Panic, I will offer likely a similar deal. I can get him locked up a little longer, actually. Let's jump ahead of day. See what comes out of these contract offers. Whew. GM rep has gone up. That's got to be good. Pro GM status. Panic. Resign. Palat. Resign. Killorn. Resign. Sister. Resign. Lee. Resign. Tyrell. Resign. Connolly. Resign. Barbaria. Resign. Korobev. Resigned. That's a bunch of guys now under contract. So now I have much of my team set. Now let's compare Thompson at 1.6. What does Johnson want here? He wants less. So this could be something that makes this guy expendable. 80 on faceoffs. That's the key, though. That's what he has, is he's good on faceoffs, and that's important. That it really is. Um, what are you at on faceoffs? You're at 60 on faceoffs. Oh, and you're 5'9". I'll keep you... I'll, <coughs> I think I'll keep him as an RFA, and I'll look to trade him somewhere. Because that size just... For a fourth line guy, that's not going to work. And then what do I have in the AHL? Unless I can get him on a contract and put him in the AHL. But in the AHL, I have Kalorn, I have Namus, Namastankov. There are guys. A couple guys I want to trade away. These two, in particular. And then... I need, I need some help on the left wing. We got one, two, really three, four guys that could. But I'd rather not have Raymond on my second line. Patrell. And I got... I need some AHL help there. And right wing. I definitely need a top right wing for sure. Um, and I got a fourth line. And I'll give him a shot on the third. I gotta give him a contract. And uh, Wenberg. I wonder, like, cause if he's Swedish... Could he play in the AHL? I don't know. I'll give him a contract, and we'll see what happens. And now we got a goalie we got to deal with. Uh, Anders Lindback. Get him on a decent backup contract. Uh, take him to 29 at... Yeah, let's give him 1.5. That's That's solid. AHL goalie. I'll give him one year. I wasn't thrilled with how things ended. So I'll give him that. Uh, Cedric Desjardins. You know. Some depth to basically two starting goalies for the AHL team. Let's advance a day and see uh, where things stand. Renewed, 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 renewed. Awesome. So now the the roster is coming together. We do have some holes to fill. Uh, center, we're pretty much set, except I could use uh, really two more AHL centers. Then at left wing, I need a top six forward. And then a couple top nine guys for the AHL. Right wing. I need I really need a top line right winger. And um, potentially a third unless earn unless I give that role to him. Because that'd be three two way forwards. That would work. That would give me a checking line, basically. Defense, Leopold is expendable. Um but I could always hold on to him. And then run with a lot of depth. Which is nice. It is, it is nice to have that. Alright. Anyways, I think that's that's it for re-signing. Uh, do I have... Let's just double check. Make sure I have no UFAs left that I need to take care of. Nope. Just the one RFA who I am planning to deal away. 
That's good. Let's head in to to free agency now and mess about there. Hopefully, there's some some good players available. Holding out hope. Holding out hope. Okay. Trading block. Uh, I'm gonna let you do. We, we don't need a backup, man. We really don't. Um. Depth forwards, sure. Defense, I don't need another defenseman. I need... Okay, well, I need... Between 17 and... I'm going to say... Let's say between 20 and 30, 30. I need a first line forward. Uh, what else? I need... Third line checking winger. Between 18 and 28, let's say. I think that's the most important stuff there. That's what I want. I have a surplus of defensemen, yeah, uh, of over 30 defensemen. I don't have a surplus of picks, I'm sorry. That pick is not available. Eric Brewer's on the block, let's say... Just to, just to field offers, let's say Leopold's on the block, because he's the one I will likely end up moving. And, I don't know, the 2021st. <laughs> So that's my block. I'm happy with that. So let's take a look at free agency, see what's available. No top forward. I'm going to have to acquire that through trade, it appears. Alright. So, needs. Let's see what's available for RFAs. Not a ton. UFA. Lots of lots of defensemen here, but I don't need one. I need second line winger. Hmm. Let's look at right wing and see if we can find a third line guy. Mursock, Bernier, Dorset. There isn't really a good third line guy available here. Hmm. That's not David Moss. That's nice one we've met. Uh, pricey. Of course, then you can look at left wings, and there's a guy like Matt Cook or Jason Schmerer, but they are older. Huh. I think let's should we deal with the trade first? Let's uh I'll deal with, with staff upgrades later, but let's deal with trading this RFA away first. Uh find a team that wants him perhaps. It doesn't have a whole lot of value. Good GM rep with Anaheim, so I might be able to get something decent from them. What's his trade value at? Let's, uh, let's go for it. There we go. Second rounder for him. I'm happy with that. Let's look at some of the guys that I need to just clear off the roster in general. Because uh, they're basically sucking up space. These two guys. Find someone that might want them. And their little trade value. What little they have for a draft pick. Um... Maybe a third? Okay. Let's... There we go. That's a solid deal. 
clearing clearing space. Got to make room for new talent to come in and help the team. So I need basically two AHL centers now. And left wing. I need really three AHL wingers. Uh, are these guys going to turn into much? Like You aren't because of your potential. But I think this guy's got decent potential. It's low, but he's got he's got some. So, this guy I can find somewhere to offload. I'm just giving guys away right now. Who wants them? Let's go down the list and find guys that, that you might like. Uh, for a fourth, perhaps? Wait, did, what did I get in that last trade? I have three fourths in this draft now, Jesus. Um, maybe I can swing one of them for a third? I really don't. I don't need another. Okay, I guess I'm getting another fourth for this guy. Maybe I can. No, not not good. Fifth, sixth. All right, whatever. It's clear. It's clear in space for me, man. I have now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven picks in the 2015 draft. And I don't have a first in 2016. I should get on that. Who else do I need to clear out? Right wing, we're looking set. Uh, I need... Well, if I keep... Let's say I keep one of these guys in the AHL. I need one... Or no, it's two... Three, so I, yeah, another winger for the AHL. And then defense is pretty much set. Don't need to clear anyone out there. That's awesome. Uh, Alright, well now we've... This has run for quite a bit of time. Uh, we've made some trades. We've done some stuff. Looked at, at free agency. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode.